In this example, we will be estimating the square root of 99, but first let's simplify it by using a math rule, where the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b, meaning that if we have two numbers multiplied inside of a square root, we can separate them out into their own square roots and multiply together. Now to do this with 99, we want to first split it into two factors. We can choose 9 and 11. There's other factors, however, I chose 9 and 11 because 9 is a perfect square. Now we can rewrite the square root of 99 as the square root of 9 times 11. Using our math rule up here, we can say that the square root of 9 times 11 is equal to the square root of 9 times the square root of 11. 3 squared is equal to 9. So the square root of 9 is equal to 3. So we can replace the square root of 9 with 3. Simplifying our answer to 3 times the square root of 11. Now this is our simplified version, but if we want to estimate the square root of 99 to the nearest tenths place value, we want to look at perfect squares nearby. For example, 9 squared is equal to 81, and 10 squared is equal to 100. So we can see that 99 falls between 81 and 100. Using this information, we can write the following inequality. 81 is less than 99, which is less than 100. Now we can add a square root to all of these values, and then we can see that the square root of 81 is 9, since 9 squared is 81, and the square root of 100 is 10, because 10 squared is 100. Now we can see that the square root of 99 falls between 9 and 10. However, 99 is a lot closer to 100 than it is to 81, so the square root of 99 will fall closer to 10 than it does to 9. So to approximate this, let's try out tenths place values between 9 and 10. We'll try out 9.9 .9 first. We'll multiply 9.9 .9 times 9.9 .9 and see how close we can get to 99. 9 times 9 is 81, carry the 8, and then 9 times 9 is 81, plus 8 is 89. We'll add a 0, and then 9 times 9 is 81, carry the 8, 9 times 9 is 81, plus 8 is 89. When we add these together, we end up getting 98.01. And we can see that this is 0 0.99 away. This is actually the closest we'll get to 99. So we can say that 9.9 .9 squared is approximately 99. So then we can say 9.9 .9 is approximately the square root of 99. And we can see that this is our tenths place approximation.